So, um, Caesar Figueroa, um, not me being Caesar, I know that that's one of my all areas informant files um, as Zarina, but I said no. In this day and age, I'm going to go with Zarina, meaning uh, CZ, more for Czech Republic uh, than I am because there are too many Latinos that are using the word and the name Cesar or Caesar. And so um, that's private label. I'm just going to do Zarina, uh, CZ for Czech Republic. Um, so that's that. Two is today, apparently. Uh, Caesar, who is an American, he is a mortgage representative. Um, I, when I was selling homes, I used to refer him. He was a very, he was very professional. I know nothing about him. We never got into personal. It was strictly business. So um, he and he had a brother named Christian. Who, I got to be honest, I really love Christian more than I liked Caesar. I mean, Caesar, you're a good guy, but like your brother Christian. He was another real estate agent, and I helped him get a, a job at Chase. But anyway. Um, I don't know, sometimes you just have like an affinity for one over another, but not that you don't like the other sibling, you just like really, I don't know, whatever. Um, so it's, it's kind of like moment to moment, depends on what science project I wake up in, but whatever. So um, here we are in, uh, he, it was Caesar said that it is, uh, none of these people, by the way, do I keep like clingy relationships with. I mean, friends on Facebook, like check in, but I don't really like, I don't keep a Rolodex of like people I check in with. I mean, what the fuck would I do that for? I'm just sitting here waiting for like the rest of the world to get their shit together and trying not to make too many quantum string relationships, but yet have enough relationships that people are like, no, 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 she's like, I don't know, a no normal, I guess professional I don't know whatever it doesn't really fucking matter it's not like I'm asking for a job interview I kind of was born a goddess <laughs> it's something you can't take away um, it's just gonna kill you in the end is extinction but whatever um, so uh, um, uh, not Julius um, so Caesar says to me um, he says uh, it, well he put up a picture that today's flag day F L A G and he was wearing it like a cape and now he's uh, Hispanic but like a uh, very light colored Latino um, I, I don't I mean I guess if uh, yeah I don't wouldn't even know I, I'm not even gonna take a guess from where he would be from because that would just be wrong so um, he's from America that's all I know um, so but his last name seems like it could be Italian it could be Hispanic I don't it's like my Guerrera like I love Guerrera but I know it's a very highly Hispanic name as well but it's also very Italian so whatever um, um, it's also uh, right in Yugoslavia I think we have a bunch of them but anyway um, so there is, uh, let's see, where do we have, so he had a flag, oh, then he put up a picture of the U.S.Army, A-R-M-Y. Here's the thing, Caesar. I normally would give you a big hug and kiss on, like, just, like, yay, like, rue you guys on, except Trump was standing in the middle as the U.S. Commander-in-Chief, and while the majority of the children were our color, um, there were a few faces in the crowd, uh, one in particular that stood out that was facially disfigured, and I cannot approve that. I just can't, because it causes cascading effects. And so while I am all about, like, service members, I needed a pure, clean, white fight with enemies elsewhere. And the minute you add women, and the minute you add any slight variant of whatever, it causes cascading effects with the facial disformed that say, well, if you have a black one inside the army, then we're coming, then you can't tell us as facially deformed that we can't be in the army. Well, actually I can, because I own the U.S. <laughs> it's arm, it's leg, it's people, it's rules, it's regulations, it's policing, but I know you all just think you have like the 